Welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Today's topic, three things that powerful people do. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My, my, my name is Sitem Ali, the founder and creator of the Prosperity Revolution, a global movement that helps you to get out of scarcity and into prosperity every single day. A movement where people have value, things do not, where money is a result of helping people, where you're rewarded for creating value for others, and where prosperity is not the result of luck, but but predictable steps and formulas, and and where happiness is, is the ultimate goal. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening to this, I want to welcome you to the podcast today. Grateful to be here as part of a revolution of prosperity. A real revolution, not a bloody revolution like, say, the Revolutionary War here in the United States many, 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 many moons ago, but a revolution within the mind where it's more radical and more powerful because this revolution of prosperity allows you, my friend, to live inside of abundance, to live inside of prosperity, to live in a place where prosperity is not only real, but it is predictable It is sustainable and it is the direct result of living according to principles of prosperity. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm shooting this live from Destin, Florida, where we're on day two of immersion. So at the time I'm shooting this, what we're about to begin immersion day two, titanimmersion.com. It's for the men and shieldmaidenimmersion.com or shieldmaidenlive.com for the women. So let's just dive into what happens. You know, I've got 13 incredible men down here running through immersion. These men are incredible. Oftentimes people come through immersion because inside of them, they think they are broken or they think something is wrong. I get it. I totally get it. Like We go through phases of life where we think something is off, something is wrong, or sometimes we feel broken. Sometimes I feel this way as well. I have felt this way many times. And the truth is there are powerful people and there are non-powerful people. Powerful people, non-powerful people. I don't look at people as as good or bad necessarily or right or wrong. In most instances, I see through the frame of powerful or non-powerful. And powerful people are the people who make the world move. Now, I'm not talking about politicians. I'm not talking about the people in there for the money grab. I'm talking about everyday people who have control over you. And there's three things. Let's look, there's a lot of things that powerful people do. But there's really three things I'm talking about. So I'm going to take you through an experience. Last night, it was 40 degrees on the beach. And if you've ever been through immersion or seen any of the videos, yes, we push you physically. Yes, we'll help you to tune in spiritually. Yes, we help you to learn how to reconnect inside of your marriage, inside of relationships, to show up as a real man or as a real woman, as a husband, as a father, as a mother, as a wife. And yes, we help you with your business, how to figure out the the money piece of your world. Well, we're on the beach last night. It's 1030 at night. It's freezing here. It's January or I'm sorry, February. It is. It was just extremely cold. And my team was like, there's no way. There's no way you're going to put them into the ocean tonight. And I look at my team. I'm like, I have to. Like, of, of course, we have to put them in the ocean tonight. That's what we do. We run through a series of evolutions, physical evolutions, right, where we're challenging you physically, but we're also helping you to to extract the lessons and the principles to help you. We're on the beach. I'm freezing. Like, I don't get cold easily. I've got a hoodie on. I've got um, uh, warm clothes, and I'm freezing. I'm shivering. But, But the cool thing is, once we get going, it doesn't matter. We have 13 guys, we're doing our evolutions, we're pushing them, like we're tapping into, and and this is not easy stuff. I mean, we got guys that are puking, passing out, hitting the ground, like it's hard. Of course it's supposed to be hard. You rarely learn something when it's really easy. Now you can, this is why immersion is so special. So we're going in and out of the water. It's free. I mean, it is cold. We got dudes that are like, they're just looking at us. But here, here's the cool thing that powerful people do, right? Number one, powerful people do what they say they're going to do. Like they keep their word. You can count on it. If you want power in your life, if you want to be more powerful, and when I say powerful, Take the simple definition inside of our vocabulary. 
the velocity with which you move something from a concept or an idea to a result. Say it again. Right. Think about power as a function of the velocity with which you can move something from a concept or an idea to a result. That type of power that allows someone to light a cell phone or light a building or light the city of Las Vegas or the whole county of Orange, the county of Orange in Southern California. Power. There are times in your life when you are powerful. So we're back on the beach and we talk about being all in. Right, this evolution, hey, I'm all in. And it's so easy to say, I'm all in. I'm all in. You know, have you ever just met people like they they say the right thing to I'm all in? I'm all in. Yes, I'm all in. Well, it's one thing to say you're all in, it's another thing to be all in. Very different games. You're on the beach, and I tell the man, hey, look, if you don't want something to get wet, like take it off. And remember, it's 40 degrees, the wind chill is probably putting it into the 30s. There's no one else on the beach. The sheriff came by and he thought we were military and he just gave us like the thumbs up and like, yeah, good job. We're like, we didn't say anything because it's pitch black, right? We're we're talking 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. Like go go, go all into the water. And and these guys are looking at me, they're looking at each other, but they had committed to each other that we're going to be all in. That's the power of positive peer pressure. It's like, man, no one wants to be the weak link. So they lock arms into the water they go, and it is freezing. The neat thing is, all these men had committed that they would be all in and that they would never give up. By this time, we're a good hour into the evolution. Dudes are passing out. They're doing all these physical things. We're walking and talking. We're teaching. We're helping them to see how this is just like life. Like life is going to get hard. Life's not, the conditions aren't going to be perfect. Into the water they go, right? Into the water they go, and they're standing there, and then they go all in. And when we tell these men all in, that means fully covered in water. That's the first thing. Powerful people, they do what they say they're going to do. We should go all in. They go all in. Like they co- like cover themselves in water, like in the ocean. They're locked on. They're they're exhausted. They're tired. It's freezing. It's windy. I mean, it it, it was cold last night. They come out of the water. Where in your life are you like the men where you're all in, like you're really all in, all in on your marriage, all in with your children. And sometimes people hear that word all in. What are you talking about? Athletes typically know what this means. All in. High performers, champions, they know what this means. All in. Like I'm going to go all in. For me, there's times in my life where I look back and I say, I was all in. As a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, yes, I follow Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm a devoted disciple of Christ. Sometimes people look at me and say, I don't think you follow Christ because I might say things or do things that that they don't believe a Christian would do. Nonetheless, I am that guy. And there's been times in my life where I've been so powerful. I've been powerful because I did what I said I would do. I would go all in. I did what I said I would do, all in. Football. Served a mission for my church. As a husband and a father, I show up the best that I can. I mean, all in. I take my wife on a date every week. Every week, I take my wife out. Every week, I take my kids to school. Sometimes I pick them up from school. I take them to sports. I sit at their practices. I coach their sports. I take them out to dinner. We have great conversations. We read and praise the family. There's just things I, in my mind that says, hey, all in looks like this. I'm as strong as I've ever been physically. Why? Because I'm all in on my body. Now, I'm still working on the nutrition part, which is great, right? Body weight's coming down, fat's coming off the body. But that denotes all in. If you look at your life where you've been all in, the results are there. If you've not been all in, the results are not there. In other words, if you're doing what you said you would do, you're going to have the results. So take a look at your life. Are you all in? Yes or no? Did you do what you say you're going to do? Yes or no? That's the first thing that powerful people do. And I love powerful people because, number two, powerful people are committed to a cause, to a purpose, to a mission. Again, powerful people are committed. There's the word, being committed. And being committed in our language, there's three things. You do what's required. You do what you said you would do. You act decisively in spite of thoughts, feelings, emotions, and moods. Do what's required. Do what you said you would do. Act decisively in spite of thoughts, feelings, emotions, and moods. 
it's one thing to tell me or my team, typically the team, hey, I'm all in for a Titan immersion. That's a commitment. And then you've got to book your flights and hotels and actually get on the flight and fly here to Destin, Florida, where we're running immersion this week. And then you actually got to show up. And then you actually got to show up, show up. So it's one thing to show up physically, but then you actually got to be here and go through the experience. See, the men here for Titan Immersion, they're, they're committed to something greater than themselves. They're, they're committed to living a more powerful, more fulfilling life as a husband, as a father. That's why they're here. They want to level up to the next level. They want to go to the next level. They want to produce greater results, not just financially, but I pride myself on, hey, look, this is about becoming a world-class husband, a world-class father, what we call five-star daddy, five-star husband. Five-star, if you've ever stayed at a five-star resort, it's amazing. Don't you say? Like, it's incredible. Five-star resorts are like, hello, Mr. Ngali, and, and the, the, it smells amazing, and the service is incredible, and the food is delicious, and it's clean, and it's immaculate. Like, it is the top of the top. That's what it means to be a five-star daddy, five-star husband. And powerful people are committed to living this life of greatness. Not to say if you want to be average and mediocre, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. That's just not what we do here. That's not what I'm called to do as a man. I'm not called to do that as a man. I'm called to greatness, to expand, to impact, to influence, to fulfill, to create value. What is your purpose? What is your mission? What is your cause that you're committed to? Or do you have one? And see, the bigger the cause, the more power that's required, the more power that's required, what have you then level up and become the greatest version of yourself. So last night on the beach, they come out of the beach, it's freezing, they go back in, we make them go back and they come back out. We have them like lay on the sand, it's so cold, man. I'm telling you, the dudes are shivering, they're looking at me. And the third thing that powerful people do, Again, there's a number of things, but I'm taking all this from Titan Immersion. Is, is so number one, right? Let's let's just review this. Powerful people do what they said they would do. Like they're committed to something. They're, they're fully committed. Number two, uh, powerful people are committed to a purpose, a higher purpose, a holy cause, a, a, a great mission. And then finally, powerful people, they don't do it alone. They're not trying to go do this alone because I know and they know and perhaps you know that together you're way more powerful when you're together with your team, with your group. You're not trying to do this alone. There's no such thing as a self-made billionaire. Like people want to talk about Elon Musk, like, like as if he did it all by himself. Come on. Hey, true. Michael Jordan didn't win all by himself. He was part of a team. Tiger Woods went at in the Right at the peak of his career, he didn't do it by himself. He always had a team. There's always support. There's always people because you lift each other up. I just have you consider if you're going to be a powerful person, there's many things, but today we discussed three. Where in your life are you still trying to do this alone without the help of mentors and coaches, without the help of a spouse, without the help of a children? I can't imagine trying to build this juggernaut of a business that I have, this global business that we, we run without the help of my team, and I have the best team. I am not the smartest one on my team. That's the way it's supposed to be. If you're the smartest one in the room, there's a problem. So who's in your huddle? Who's in your team? Who's the people that you surround yourself with? Who's your mentors and coaches? Who's the people that you've hired to help you? Whether it's your your employees or your employer or your team members, like who's your surrounding support? Be powerful. Be committed to something greater than yourself. Get out of your way. My friends, I hope you've enjoyed the podcast today. We're about to leave right now. It is like five in the morning here. At the time that I'm shooting this, getting ready to head out for day number two of Titan Immersion. I love being powerful. I love feeling powerful. I love doing powerful things. I love showing up powerful. I love this way of living. And if you want to feel this way, I invite you to check out either TitanImmersion.com for the men, ShieldMadeInLive.com, or championshuddle.com, right? Number of ways to get into our world because the purpose of our life is to expand and then to make a difference and create value for other people. But that's for another day. Have an amazing day, my friends. I appreciate you listening, and I'm out. Let's go! This is your daily revolution. Living prosperity, we 
show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. This is the your daily revolution. You already know. And if you don't, then check my resume. Turning pressure into possibilities every day. We all can win and live our unique purpose. We change our mindsets and put the work in. This is the your daily revolution. Daily revolution. Revol 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 revolution. Your daily revolution podcast. Ah.